Good morning. I'm doing a video from my roof today. This is just right above my apartment. I'm on the second floor, so this would be the third floor. Over there you can see San Pedro Volcano, Lake Atitlan. And then over there, the other two volcanoes, Toliman and Atitlan, kind of in the clouds this morning. Simon Hukanya, which is the little barrio across the river from Panahacha in Guatemala. In case you don't know. Okay, so I love my rooftop. Got a nice view of the lake and the mountains and the sun comes up back over there. I wanted to show you a few things up here. First of all, there's my kitty Willow. And there's my kitten Rui. Hey Rui. Willow is probably gonna take a poop on the roof. I think she thinks it's a big litter box for her pleasure. Anyway, okay, so you can see up here there's all this rebar, this, this metal bar sticking up. That's something that you seem to do here in Guatemala is they'll build as many floors as they can, but they keep the rebar going up because one day they may want to build a third floor here. You never know. So a lot of the rooftops have this stuff, but it makes it kind of handy because we've got wires strung up here so that I can uh, hang my laundry. And when the sun hits this, it bakes. So the laundry dries like no time flat. This is our water cistern. So the water gets pumped up here and then kind of gravity feeds down to everybody. And there's also like uh, internet antennas and cables and all sorts of stuff. So down here in front, this is the edge. That's the garden area of my apartment building. There's four apartments here. So we have an avocado tree, a lime tree, a lemon tree, some blackberry bushes, and a bunch of decorative flowers. And then right in front there, there's a cornfield. I don't know if you can see there's an old dude in there in the cornfield. So he is, I think, the owner's father, and he tends his corn in the field there, and he also comes in and takes care of our gardens and sweeps up the stuff. And what else? So over here to the right, you can see all these orange flowers. Yeah, the hummingbirds love those. One of these days I'm gonna sit up here in a chair and get a really good picture of some of the hummingbirds here because they love those flowers. To my right, I have, there's a kind of a bigger house owned by some gringos. There's a lot of Dalmatians that bark a lot. <laughs> and you can see some of the neighborhood here. You can see a lot of the, the tin roofs, people doing their laundry on the roof, just like me. It's smart, put your laundry up. And all the buildings are made of like concrete blocks. And if not, they're usually adobe. The older ones are adobe. Um, and yeah, they look kind of kind of sad from this side. But when you look at the front of them, a lot of the houses are painted in really pretty, beautiful colors at the front. But they're not gonna waste paint on the back side of their building. So I wanted to show you something on this side of my building. I am kind of a bit of an invasion of privacy here, but these are my neighbors. And you see that blue tarp with the rocks holding it down and the little curtain? That's their bathroom. Which I think is just a toilet placed over a hole in the ground. And, you know, they have a tin shack that has got a cement foundation, you know, they got a dirt yard. And so people say, oh, you moved to Guatemala, it's really poor, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, it is. And it's interesting, though, because you will find, like, huge, big mansions and people driving brand new SUVs and Hummers and all sorts of things. And yet, right next to me in my nice apartment is this little family with their kids and their dog and you know they live in this kind of jungly area in this tiny little house but overall I'm finding that people of Guatemala are pretty happy you know they're cheerful and they work hard and they love their families and they laugh and you know it's just a great country they seem to be more full of hope you know things are changing for Guatemala things are getting better and you know, people are so full of despair as probably they were when the Civil War was going on. So, um, some other day I'll go around and show you some of the mansions that are here in Panajachel because they're ridiculous. They're always behind like big walls and fences and barbed wire and you know the gates, locks and guards and stuff. And, you know, and a half of them are empty most of the time because you know the people live in the city and this is their lake house because this is a lot like just the big vacation area. For so this is my roof anyway, and uh, oh yeah, behind my roof is jungle. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I went back here one day and walked around in there, and you know, it's like jungle. Yeah, there's some old coffee plants down there, and you know, like, it's just gone to wild. I don't know whose property is, but yeah, it, this is, it's full of birds. I'm always hearing birds and crickets and things. It's a lovely place to live, so there it is.